Hi everyone, this is Wana from uh, RC Corner, DJI Academy. So today, we will show you how to connect DJI Zizan 2 to the aircraft and the remote controllers. Because nowadays I see many people have an uh, issue with firmware and sometimes the aircraft is not stable, sometimes you cannot connect to the aircraft. Even some people crash and you want to know uh, what the information disconnected to the remote controller. In this situation, all you need to know is download the DJI Assistant 2 in your laptop and connect to your device. So I will show you from the stop A to Z, you know, all the beginnings and how to go. So initially, we need to download DJI Assistant 2. So today, uh, for our computer, we will check to uh, Google Chrome. Then the, click here, new search, just type DJI Agriculture. So, Remember, go to the DJI official website. So DJI Agriculture, you just click, go to the website. Then you are here. You see here, you have many products. Go to products and uh, find your product. Okay, today we have DJI Agros T20P. So I will click DJI Agros T20P for, for us and go to download. Once, so then you will see DJI Descent Tool for MG. So this is for Mac version, this is for Windows version. Our is a Windows version, so I will click here and then download. So remember here, you just send to release now, you can check and the manual, everything. Okay, this is manual for T20Ps. I also suggest to check uh, this manual, it will help you a lot. Anyhow, so we will come back, download. Once after finish downloading, we will see here, Resistant 2. So look at this. Why I mentioned select the product because we have DJI Resistant 2 for different drone, different series, enterprise, consumer, anything. So now our is DJI Resistant 2 for uh, Agress MG. Okay, Agress series is here. Okay, we are ready with Resistant 2. Next, we will go to the uh, aircraft. So the requirement to connect with DJI Resistant 2 your device is Resistant 2 itself and the DJI cable. So that this cable we give you in the box, okay? Yeah, Type C to USB cable. So see, it's just showing it's not connected, right? So next is we go to the device. So remember the device should be uh, power on. So in in this part, many people ask me where is the Type C port for uh, connecting the GI system to. As an example, T twenty P, T fourteen, T fifteen, T twenty five, all is the same. So you just open the front cover, even T13, you open the front covers and you see you fix to the boot and on your left side, check here, come here. So uh, usually uh, this port, okay? But sometimes this uh, port maybe uh, is covered from the water uh, resistant uh, port, okay? So you need you just need to unscrew it and you will see here the port is just close to the center line. So in the port, we put a type C, just connect to type C. Okay? So uh, once connect this, it's show here like this. So now you can you can say connect the device T20P. If you connect with a different drone, it will show different drone. Okay, double click, and you need to wait some time because it is loading the all available firmware for your aircraft. But now we have uh, the one firmware. Sometimes it will show many firmware. So if your drone is uh, latest, we will update, we will recommend you to go for the latest. If sometimes if your aircraft is already in later version, that the aircraft uh, behave abnormally, then we will I recommend you to refresh. You just click refresh and it will keep going like this. So you just say start update. You need to connect to the internet and your device should have a sufficient battery. Of course, to be uh, minimum 50 persons and the USB connection is like a tight and use a DJI cable. That's how to connect to your device. So I hope you remember where is the IC port in the device and uh, where you can download the DJI Zen 2. Make sure your DJI Zen 2 is a the relevant one, not the different DJI Zen 2 for another series. And the same thing, likewise, if you want to be if you have an issue with a remote controller, you just bring the remote controller and check the USB-C. So you just connect the USB-C to here, okay? Then I'll show you here, you connect here, then you see DJI RC Flex. So the same thing, you can update the firmware of the remote controller as well. So you can see like this. 
okay so um that's all for today i hope this helped you how to connect your dji system 2 to your device remote controller the charger and dr dj2 mobile station the generator everything so all the device from our dji product from agro series line you can connect using dji system 2 for mg and thank you so much for your time and i hope this video helped you and bye bye see you in the next in the next video